Hi, how are you? Doing well? How was your Friday? Good? Well, guess what today is? It's Saturday! <laughs> I can't think of the guy who's like, ah, when he talks like that. But anyway, hey, welcome. You ready to get started? I'm ready to get started. Well, let's get started. Let's go. Hey, it's Saturday. That means we're going to spend some time with God. Welcome to Saturdays with God with your girl, Ashley Renee. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. So, Saturday, I am, I find myself in the midst of a ton of transition. And I want to complain about it. We've been talking about the stop, drop, and roll. Um, you know, I'm in the midst of the rolling. And really and truly, you're in a constant state of stop, drop, and roll. As long as you're moving, there are storms all around, especially now. Like right now, especially now, there's storms everywhere that would try to take you over. And so we're all in this mode of stop, drop, and roll. And you have a choice that the flames or the storm could overtake you and override you. Or you can stop, pause, stop running around, stop panicking, stop inciting the flames, uh, making the flames worse. You can drop and put down everything, shift your focus, put it on God, um, on your prayer life, on your worship, and then you can roll. So for me, roll is trusting God, just going with the going with it. And the and I, I want to say go with the flow, but uh, we use that very casually. When I use it, I'm specifically talking about stepping in the waters of God and rolling with that flow which is a totally different thing. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. That being said, uh, I am in the midst of transition. Now, in 2019, 2018, for a long time, for a long periodical time, <laughs> I've been stuck. And honestly, it took me getting pregnant, um, destroying the vision of the dream of my life, having a baby and trying to navigate that new world that has woken me up. It, and it also has helped me to um, get to a place of Com get from a place of complacency so when I say I'm in transition right now I'm in transition of trying dispelling the habits that I talked about last week that I've created while in my stuckness right so you get stuck that's one thing I kind of think of it like you're a truck you're riding around in the, and you get stuck in the mud occasionally no problem it's okay that you get stuck in the mud, but then you trying to do whatever you can. You get out there, you put some wood under the tires to try to, then you, okay. All of that, you work it to get out of it. What I have done is gotten to the habit of being stuck, so not moving. And while I'm sitting in the truck waiting for somebody to come along and pull me out of the mud, there are things that I'm doing in the truck that I'm, that habits that I've created that I did in the truck that don't work no more. They're not working for me, but they're still habits nonetheless. This is the transition I'm in. So when I say I'm in transition, like I am one foot out, completely out of the stuckness and one foot not in the stuckness, but still touching the mud. Does that make sense? I'm still touching the mud. I, I'll find a picture of kind of what that looks like for me. All right. 
<sighs> Every now and then, that other foot, I'll pull it out and I'll have both feet solid, ready to move forward. And then something puts me back into that horrible exercise position that stretches your inner calf, inner, not inner calves, but your, yeah, your calf muscles, your inner thighs, your lower back. If you And if you're not standing in that position right, you know what I'm talking about, that position. And then you like, ah! Yeah. So I'm in a personal development program right now so that's one thing um, trying to further my career at work which requires me to be a little bit more on my P's and Q's and so I am trying to shake that those bad habits I created at work while I was stuck okay. and then also trying to create new habits and form new things and create new traditions and new um, not necessarily new methodologies, but new ways of carrying out the methodologies that I know and the things that I believe in so that my child can learn them and she can grow, grow from them and she doesn't pick up and take on any of my bad habits. But I'm not trying to leak on my child. So all of this is going on at the same time. And then throw in a little bit of life, still working, finances going crazy, throw all of that in. and still trying to do everything. Okay. All I want to say to me today, and all God is saying to me is, you can't stop me. You can't stop in the middle. That is a bad position to be in. Halfway in, halfway out, you can't stop. In, 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 in God's terms, it's lukewarm. When you ain't 100% all the way in something, it's lukewarm. I'm halfway over here, halfway on there. I can't be on the fence. But as I'm in the process of trying to climb over the fence, I got to make it to the other side. So today, all we're saying is, you can't stop in the middle. Ashley. You can't stop in the middle. <clears throat> That's it. That is it for today. Because everything in me wants to go back to that old way of being that says, ah, just give up, just quit. Do you know how many times I've gotten more than halfway up the mountain and just because I can't see the top, but I'm so tired, I'm so defeated, I'm so broken down that I'm like, I, I just go back down. It costs me more to go back down. It will cost me so much more to get back in the mud. Who does that? We do. All the time. Just think, of, think about it. I don't want to face the hurt. I don't want to face the pain. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be without a job. I don't want to be, I don't, I don't, I don't. Whatever that is, you've worked so hard to get to this place. And if I give this up, then what will I have? Jesus, that's what you have. And he, So, that being said, I'm going to leave you with today. Don't stop in the middle. I don't know about you, but my legs, <laughs> my legs don't do well apart. <laughs> Sorry. But you know 
know what I'm saying. That whole plie is the word that keeps coming to mind, but that's not it. The split, when one leg is facing this way, one leg going back, or when you're doing a lunge, that's what it is. A lunge. Lunge? You know what I'm saying. That exercise, when then you have to put your that one knee down and you come up, back up. Mm, who's doing that for fun? You doing that for fun? Okay, then. <clears throat> Is it a good stretch? Yes. It's a good stretch so you learn and you grow and your muscles get stronger. But you're not meant to be in that position all the time. So you got to make a decision. Go back or continue on. I feel like um, the vision of Harriet Tubman. Now, the movie Harriet does a good job of this, where they're at the river and her big brother says, I'm going back. And anybody, if y'all want to live, y'all better come with me. And she has to pull a gun on her brother and say, if you move, I kill you. Because you're not going to put this whole thing in jeopardy. And I'm pretty sure she probably had to do that a couple of times. Because if this is all I know, if slavery is all I know, if the heart is all I know, and this, or, or it's not necessarily all I know, but it's what I'm used to. It's what I've been going through over and over again. This is my habit. This is my familiar. This is what I'm comfortable with. Then I might need a gun to my head and say, you better get across this river. So today, let me be the gun to your head. Get on the other side of the fence. Don't stop in the middle. And I know you think I'm yelling at you. I'm yelling, I'm yelling at you. Nothing's changed about that. I can't stop now. My mom used to sing this song. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy. And I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me. Don't feel no waste Come too far from where I started from Nobody told me Okay, anyway, sorry. Whew. We gotta get to the other side of the fence. We gotta get on the other side. We cannot stay here. I can't stop in the middle. We gotta keep moving. So yes, I'm tired. And yes, it hurts. And yes, it's unfamiliar. And yes, I don't know what's over there and I don't have no control over it. So I'm letting go of my control or my illusion of. I'm letting go of the fact that I need to know what's over there because I'm a good planner. Huh, whatever. Uh, I'm letting go of all of that and I'm trusting. I'm trusting. I got to. So I can get to the other side. It's just that simple. And it's taken me way too long to get to the other side. Thank God he is the God of the restoration. So whatever it is I need, whatever it is I think I need or have to have or want it, he can restore. He can give to me. And it won't matter. It's not about the time. It's about the quality and the, you know, it's, it's, it's about the, the substance, not how long you have it. If we learn how to appreciate stuff while it's in our hand for however long. We'll be okay. But that's neither here nor there. I'm just trying to get there so I can get whatever it is supposed to be there. So I can be whoever it is I'm supposed to be. 
You know what I mean? All right. We got work to do. We got work to do. We got work. All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful Saturday, a wonderful weekend. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have anything that you would like to talk about. you have any questions, thoughts, um, just say hey. And we will see you next weekend, next Saturday.